So the cup, hello everyone, my name is Maggie and this is another episode of Mirage Fix. In this episode, I was uh, installing an alarm system from Crime Stopper. It is a two-way, which means that it will tell me if the car is already started, if the car is unlocked on the remote. So I just want to let you guys know a little bit about the car. It is a stock car, it has power door locks, power windows. That's pretty much about it. It didn't have a trunk release, so I installed one. This could be a tutorial, I think, but it's more likely that I just show you guys how I did things. That's what I mostly do in my videos. So you will see a lot of um, wires are already cut off or opened because I went through it already. And this is me, I went through it second time, and so yeah. And I bought these two separately and the connectors for them. I have a car wire diagram. I have another one that is much better. Let's go do that one. On the six pin high current connector. So bra go to starter, accessory, turbo power battery, turbo power battery, ignition one, pink and white would go to starter two, ignition two. I'm gonna see if my car has this ignition two. Ignition one, ignition two. This car has ignition two, so I will be using all of them. Twelve pin connector, yes. Yes, yes. Brown, out to siren. Brown, white, horn, hong. Black, white to illumination. Output, yellow, black, OEM, rearm. I will not use that one. OEM, disarm, output. Nope. Tech car meter. Trunk lilies, red and green. I'm not gonna be connecting to the ground. Blue, white, passenger door, unlock, output. Orange wires that we don't need yellow black orange black blue white I'm gonna use blue tape At the seven pin connector the gray one the whole trigger right here blue one go to trunk pin switch green door pin switch purple black white manual transmission white brake reset pink right away i just cross it off it is diesel black white and pink next would be next one is for the led i'm gonna put these later button here goes in here i'm gonna put this later too three wires three wires there are a bunch of how to wire as you can see this is the simplest one the red is not used the green goes to locked and the blue goes to unlock this one you have to use relays and stuff locked and unlocked are both negative it is probably gonna be the negative trigger many imports late model Ford and general motors are we using this wire diagram These wires are for the shock sensor. I'm gonna put these later too. It goes in there. And lastly, it's gonna be these wires. Four pins. 
I noticed that these are for the extra aux 2, aux 3, aux 4 blue orange starter output none of these that I will be using cross these out now we're ready to go I'm gonna make this look a little bit better Now let's install this first and follow by this and the antenna. I have some um, adhesive rubber sealant. And for the hood pin, I think I'm gonna put it right here. I went to a local store and picked up this one, metal, with a lot of holes on it. And I'm gonna use that bolt to hone this there, and I'm gonna bend it right here. I have a piece of wood here. I'm gonna put some of the rubber sealant on. Next, I'm gonna be installing the trunk release kit. Let's put it on right now. Negative wire. I need to attach this in. I'm gonna put the ground right here. The blue right here is the trunk pin switch input. The trunk trigger is the negative green ray at light in trunk. I'm gonna use extra wire that I have. I'm gonna cover one side up. There's a light in here. I'm trying to avoid global and the ground touching each other.
this is for the button this is for the remote and this will go to the 12 constant now it's time for the button and the LED And I'm gonna take this off too. Okay guys, I'm from the future. I just wanna let you guys know something. Before I connect the wires, I should have planned it out where I wanna put the unit. And after I connect the wires, it is recommended that I uh, solder the wires. I know I have been using the blue tape which is might be easy for the thief to uh, recognize what goes where so I'll be using the black tape just to blend in as you can see I had a lot of wires here let's say I want to put the unit inside right in there where I want it to be and then measure out the wire to where it is gonna be connected and then cut it off right there open this wire up make a hole and put this in I went ahead and put the unit inside. Now I will know exactly how long each wire should be. All these extra wires can go away from your car. And do this for all of them. It should look nice at the end. Uh, from the 12 pin connector. First one is gonna be the ground. And this is the ground. I'm gonna put it right in here with that bolt. The next one is gonna be the parking light output. Parking light in this case is positive, green and white. Top of fuse box. I'm gonna take the whole thing out. The white one from 12 pins goes to the green and white from this plug. The parking light is positive and so the red and black has to go to 12 volt. 12 volt constant is the white ignition switch harness. Red and black from 12 pin. I'll just cover it up a little bit because I might need it in the future. Next one is gonna be the brown and goes to cyan. Brown wire from 12 pin. That's the wire that we need. I can hook this up right now. Next is gonna be the brown and white. The black and white, that goes to a dome light illumination. Dome light supervision, use the trigger. The trigger is negative and it's black. Harness at top of fuel box. Black and white from throw pin goes to that black on the corner. All right, I have it extended out. It needs a relay. Negative dome light system connect to terminal 85, 86 to 12 volt constant, 87 to chassis ground, 30 to the negative dome light activation circuit. Here's the relay. All right. I got some of these wires. And the ground wire is already connected to the chassis over there. So I might just use this to connect with the ground wire. So I'll just cover it up a little bit. As you can see, it got extra wire here. I can just divide it in half. 
I'm gonna use this one for 30 and this one is still the same and this one So next is gonna be the white and red and it's gonna go to tackle. The tech wire is white at the distributor. The white wire right there, the second wire from the top is connected to that wire. White and red from the 12 pin. The green red is gonna be the remote for the trunk release. I'm gonna connect the 85 to the green and red, 86 to 12 constant, 87 to 12 constant also, and then 30 to the trunk release. Green and red from 12 pin. I'm gonna divide this in half because I'm gonna need it. I'm also gonna connect 87. And now 30. And the wire from 30 would go to the trunk release, which is this one right here. And this is gonna go to, to a work constant. Since I have this wire from the button and it's got a uh, fuse, so the 12 volt from the relay will go under here. And this will connect to the 12 volt constant. And this, it seems to be pretty short here. I'm gonna add the wire. And this will go to 12 volt constant, white wire at the harness. Orange is gonna be a starter disable. This wire should be connected to the yellow wire of the pre-wire relay. Orange from 12 pin. For the relay itself, let's start with the green. I have to cut the starter wire. Top green would go to the key and the bottom green would go to the starter. Starter wire, black and yellow, ignition harness black and yellow as you can see I already cut it off just like that top one goes to the key the bottom goes to the starter and then we got the white one ignition switch on hot to cranking ignition wire black and white ignition harness this one right here black and white I already got a wire in there, it's for my tech gauge. We are done with this wire diagram, except the brown. The brown comes from somewhere else, we don't know that yet. Before we move on to 7 pin, let's clean this up a little bit. Now we're gonna move to 7 pin. The first one is gray, hold trigger. Gray one from the seven pin. I'm gonna use this tube right here. And I got a uh, rubber sealant over there. And next is gonna be the blue trunk pin switch, trunk trigger, green ray, light in trunk. I wire from the trunk light. This is it. Blue from seven pin.
next is the green door pin switch input it's this wire right here that we connect earlier green from 7 pin the purple is door pin switch 2 white wire is gonna go to break reset brake wire positive green plug at brake pedal switch it's the white wire from 7 pin is this plug right here and is the green one it is the end of this 7 pin connector next is gonna be the light and the button Let's move on. Chuck sensor. I got a mounting tape here. Now it's gonna be the power door locks. Red is not used, green goes to lock, blue goes to unlock. Power door lock is negative, it is light green black at bottom of the fuel box. Green from the 3 pin goes to lock right there. The unlock negative, blue white, harness bottom of fuel box. The blue wire from the 3 pin goes to unlock. Six pin, the brown goes starter output. That is the brown goes to the starter side. Brown from the six pin harness. It will go to the starter wire right there. Gray, which goes to accessory. Accessory wire, blue and white. Ignition harness. The gray wire from the six pin. Two red wires go to 12 constant power. So two red from the six pin. <laughs> Next, it's gonna be the pink. It's gonna go to ignition one, run and crank. Ignition wire, black and white. Ignition harness. Pink wire from the sick pin. The pink and white, which gonna go to ignition two. Second ignition wire, blue and black, ignition harness. Pink and white from sick pin. is right there what else do we have left nothing else now we are done nope we're not quite done yet remember the open the car I got it correctly, but um, the result is the opposite. Alright guys, this is locked and this is unlocked. Now I'm gonna lock the car first. And then unlock the car. It locks the car. I'll just switch those wire up. Let's unlock the car. Lock the car. Let's um, start the car. The pin is too far off this size, as you can see up here. It's uh, right here somewhere. If I move it in, that will be perfect. I'm gonna use zip tie to hold this up. Right on the corner where the zip tie is. 
Okay guys, I'm from the future. Over here, I cut out the extension and soldered the wires together. Yeah. I'm running all the wires up here around the back of the fuse box. I am transferring all these wires to come in from that side. Okay guys, if you do it good, it should look something like this. This is just uh, some soft stuff, glue on one side and soft stuff on the other side. And there you go guys, everything is soldered and covered with the black tape just to blend in with the harnesses on the car. I have gone from this to this. Okay guys, after I took all the wires off and re -solder and reconnect them, somehow the system forgot the remote. Only this one works. And this one doesn't work at all. So I'm gonna relearn the remotes. Turn the key on position. Press the button four times. One, two, three, four. Press the first button on the first remote. And then press the first button on the second remote. You can have up to four remotes. If you want to get another one like this, you can. Lock the car. Unlock the car. How about the trunk? And we're gonna start the car. Okay, there's one more thing when I lock the car. And open it. Open the door. You hear that sound? It is because of this, the parking lights. Tagless mode is what it is right now. On the rare occasion, the tagless mode does not operate satisfactory. Change the voltage reference level as described below or use a different mode such as tag reference mode or time crank mode. I'm gonna use the tag reference mode. See this? Tag reference mode added the engine RPM. Most reliable method. See tag programming below, which is over here. So I'm gonna do this right now. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take a look over here, right there, see that? We're gonna change from techless to learn tech. And over here, parking lights on with this arm. Right now it's on, that's why it's making that noise. I'm gonna make it off. The dome light will be on, so that's good. Lock with remote start. I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want it locked while starting the car. Over here, horn output. <laughs> I don't use it, I just use the siren, which is good enough. So that's um, pretty much it guys. Now let's go do this, this and this. For the learn tag, it has its own steps. Separated from these ones. This one will be following this right here. Right here guys, I take it out. I'll put it back when I'm done. The first one is red white wire should be connected to a valve tag source. We did that. Start the engine with key. Press program button five times. And push button one more. And then press lock button. Okay, confirmation. Start the car with the key. gonna send this I'm gonna turn it off turn the key on wait five seconds press six times hit the lock button and then turn the car off one two three four five I'm gonna go to six one two three four five six and then I'm gonna hit lock button turn it off 
Ta-da! Next is gonna be the 14 one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, thirteen, fourteen. This is operating instruction. Right here is the setting for the remote. It's making noises as you have heard it. Press BEH button five times. The remote will beep the AM or PM display will begin to flash. Press the start button to shoot the mod. Press the VEH button to save and exit setup. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's flashing. Now I'm gonna go with three. Right there. Let's um, set the clock for this. Press this five times. Two, three, four, five. Trunk. Three, four, five, six, seven. And next one. Up. Nope. Nine. One, two. Yep. Nine. And then next one is gonna be PM. Yep. There you have it guys, that's how I install an alarm system. I hope you enjoy it and find this helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. So, come.